Hi, welcome to our ninth weekly video. It's July 5th today. Today we're located approximately a couple miles from Lorette. We're in a field of soybeans planted in a 15 inch row format at, from RM Farms. The reason we wanted to bring this field up today is to illustrate the numerous side-by-sides that we have in the area. We talked about our pad plots in the last couple weeks. This variety here, 90Y01, is an evolution of the pad plot and is tested side-by-side -side with 900Y81 and also against one of the leading competitive RR2 products. This is an integral part of our agency in terms of weighing side-by-side -side in field to give farmers local information. All right, we're in a strip of 90Y01, planted May 8th on 15 inch row at 170,000 plants per acre. We would now consider this plant to be in the R2 stage as we have flowering on the uppermost nodes. Next stage will be R3 in which we would want to consider using fungicide. Many calls this week on some defoliation on the soybeans at this point on the fields that we saw today was mostly grasshoppers. Um, nothing that would warrant insecticide use. Next up will be an update on some of the corn that is rolling in the area. Hi everyone, we're standing in a cornfield in the Gruntal area, it belongs to Edwin Fraze. Had a lot of phone calls this week, Bob, about corn leaves rolling, onion leafing. Can yep. you explain to us a little bit why this is going on? Well, Mark, uh, we're, at, we're at a stage now where th this plant is uh, going to be going into silking pollination next couple of weeks here. This is a little bit of a defense mechanism uh, of the plant to uh, try to retain some of the moisture uh, because uh, this plant right now is requiring anywhere from 0.2 to 0.25 inches of, of moisture a day to, uh, to build the uh, structure of the plant and get ready for that pollination period. And potentially, how could this affect yield, Bob? Well, Mark, if we, if we stay under droughty conditions, a uh, corn plant can uh, shed pollen for up to two weeks. If, uh, if we stay in a droughty condition, that could uh, reduce pollen shed down to a week and, and could, uh, could see a, some tip back on the plants as not, on the cobs as not getting everything getting fertilized. So we could see some yield reduction there. Thanks a lot, Bob, and we'll keep everyone updated in next week's video.